Oh, this is... Oh, that... that <laughs> oh, that was the worst. Oh, I should not even bother. Hello, everybody. This is the Bone King. We are back here. And, as I promised, here is some console gameplay. And we are in Destiny. They have introduced the SLR... SR... SRL... Uh, yeah, yeah, Sparrow, Sparrow Racing, Sparrow Racing, At least no and it's here us. for a limited time, which is disappointing. Hopefully they add a permanent playlist. It is here. Enjoy it while you can. And for everyone who doesn't know, and uh, for those interested in doing it, I'm going to just give you a quick rundown of what the course looks like and what everything looks like. Uh, there's only like you know two courses, so go over the courses. And I, they they change it up a little bit, I guess. Not a whole lot, but it does affect the layout and what obstacles you come across. They change the enemies on the two tracks. They have pretty much two setups per track, which adds up to kind of four variations you can get, really. And. Those four variations are, I mean, there's only two tracks, so it's pretty much the same thing either way. The disappointing, but they added horns so you can heckle fellow racers and friends as you're driving along. And there's plenty of obstacles, there's tight turns, but most of it adds up to them spamming tight turns while throwing in tons of their own Fancy enemies ride. as you're obstacles. Um, so on the bottom left there you can see the little speed gauge in the little boxes there. That is your right and left movement kind of thing. And straight left and right. Uh, but it recharges over time. You get to hold three uses. And it also helps to recharge it by going through the gates. Now the gates, they vary in size. The size of uber, uber tiny for first place to absolutely massive for, you know, sixth place and fifth place and people like that who need it. Now I'm not saying, I'm not saying they always need it, you. Know. Some people are doing their own little, I'm going to take it easy run so I can hit all the gates or not die at all. Well, it's kind of obvious from there on. I mean, you got the labs position and sort of rough placement on the right there. Oh, okay, hi. Uh, I can't tell my random grunting and oh my god kind of moments because I'm actually playing it right now, so I have an idea of what I'm talking Let's about when I'm talking with you guys. On. This ain't over yet. But out, oh, come on, really? The pieces of crud in this race. Every if you do join in on the festivities and do feel like playing Sparrow Racing while it is here, just remember, everyone is a dick. A massive, 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 massive dick. Even that guy all the way in sixth place, if you're next to him, he is just going to drive you into a wall off the course because that is what everyone does. Nobody cares what place they're in. They just want to bone over everyone else in the race as hard as possible. Like, it's not even funny. But, that, that's that little side note out of the way. Um. S-R-L. They're taking her here. Stay safe out there. I hope you're ready for this. But, um... I mean, there are a few little other paths you can take, whether they're useful or not. They're, it really depends and how you use them and when you use them. Because usually the side paths are not the main path, and the main path is the only path with the gates on it to speed yourself up. So that is something to keep in mind. Oh, also obstacles aside from the enemies and sharp turns is they have these nice little orbs you see everywhere. The little, those are nice little slowing down mines. They don't seem to have. I mean, I never really notice them because you're only in them for like a split second, so it doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. 
about the only thing that's really annoying about them is they flash you while you're inside you're of them, the so that's annoying. But whatever. I said that was annoying. I said it was annoying again. I'm gonna keep saying it's annoying, because that's about the only annoying thing about it, is the flash. Um... Yeah, the races are amazingly quick. It takes like four to five minutes for somebody to finish the, their uh, lab races. There's no really long point to point map because they only added two maps or put in two maps. So I guess got to ease people into these kind of changes. They're not ready for them. They aren't prepared. You have no idea how difficult it is to do this. <laughs> um. Get back in the lead. They add some shaders. They pass out shaders and armor with the races. It's a nice uh, reward system. I mean, oh, uh, uh, they're kind of kind of like everything else in the game. There's no point in doing well other than to complete the quests and bounties. Quite literally, everyone else gets everything. First place usually gets coin, and that's about it. Everyone else gets the cool stuff. The horns, armor, the shaders. But that's dusty for you. That's dusty for you. This is a um, planet. I don't know. Are you sure you want to be I don't want to talk about Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it makes me think of that. Uh, that. Uh, what? Um, uh, that racing. I don't know if it's episode or like a little mini series. I think it, it must have been just like one episode because of how Pokemon works. Uh, but they had racing. That was kind of cool. They had like Arcanine. It was like the first gen they had the racing episode. I don't know if they've had more since then because I just don't watch the show. One more left. Keep going. Not crazy. I mean, although I, one thing I do know about the new show is some of the female characters are extremely, exceptionally thirsty. Yeah. Weird. And this is a kid's show. That's great. But back to the racing. Racing, racing, racing. They had like Arcanine and Dodrio. I can't remember. I think somebody was writing on Dodrio as well. I can't quite remember. But they just had a bunch of Pokemon racing. It's really freaking cool. Uh. Oh yes, I should probably mention. Yes, I am racing with friend. I am racing with friend. I got to be there while he was learning tracks and watch him just utterly destroy at the end of it because he likes racing cars. That kind of crud. I'm not a racing type person. Most, usually, most kind of racing I do is like Mario Kart. And this feels a lot like Mario Kart because it has the the boost, which is like coins in Mario Kart now. So you just Lost hit the boost, the and they have enemies to draft check. Granted, Mario Kart usually has fewer enemies, but still, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There's stuff on the track to mess with it. I mean, there's no power-ups, there's no blue shell that's gonna come out of nowhere Tower and annihilate your butthole. But, but I mean, players are bad enough. Players are bad enough. I haven't... But other than, like, general belligerence, I haven't really gotten the whole experience of player intervention. As one may call it. But, uh, the friend I was racing with we were talking, and apparently he got pit maneuvered, full out pit maneuvered, while racing, and it was just going the complete wrong direction thanks to another player. So there, there is plenty of player intervention, regardless of no blue shells or anything of that sort. And it's very, uh, how do I put it? Very weird system, I guess. A very go, go. weird collision. There you go. Very weird collision across the map, on both maps, on all maps. Because it's very, very precise. You know, like oh, there's a piece of rubble here. That rubble is going to throw somebody off, and it sends me flying sometimes. Or 
you get caught on invisible nothings and just explode out of nowhere. I mean, which is, you know, always useful. I always appreciate that kind of thing. But sometimes we just look, why? Why did I blow up? I don't know why. We're in the lead. Don't understand what I did wrong to deserve this. What have I done to wrong you, game? I've done nothing. But still. Holy crap, 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 Fancy riding. Uh, lead. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of sitting here trying to find something to talk about. Probably, you guys are probably just watching the racing that's actually you know, going on. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, also, so, something I forgot to mention was respawning. Respawning in this is very, very weird. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, because I lost a race because of it. Allow me to explain. So, so if the Sparrow gets destroyed at all, you get respawned. If you go off the track at all, like off a cliff or something, puts you back on the track, explodes the Sparrow. Get off the sparrow, you blow up, you respawn on the sparrow. You, you can't get off the sparrow. But, depending on where you, or how you the blow up, to stay in the lead. you can uh, sort of cheat the game, or, well, I feel like it's cheating the game, because, so the series of fans, I'm sure I've shown it by now, but the series of fans on the Mars level, if you blow up by eating the last one, if you get your daily dose of iron from eating that last fan, it's gonna spawn you past those fans. Why? Why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Why? Why is that a thing? No. I don't care they were almost through it. Make them get past that fan again and put them where they blew up or a little bit behind where they blew up. Not, oh, he made it close enough. Let's just put him beyond the fan, ahead of everyone. So he still maintains his lead, because, you know, it's not supposed to be an obstacle at all, even though it's an obstacle in the frickin' course. Look the kind of crud is that. Really? Stay there. I mean, it's just infuriating when you know first place, and somebody eats the fan in front of you, and you're like, yes, that's going to help me so much. I'm so glad they ate that, and it does nothing. What the crud? What kind of actual crud is that? Final oh. Lap. Hit your boost and hang and on. so, uh, while I'm here and thinking about it and going over it, the horns, um... They're out riding you. So, there's a large variety of horns from what I've seen. Like, there's general varieties you can see all the time, and then there's even more that you see rarer like amounts of time, but place. they are out there. Like, there's a, a huge, plan. huge, huge variety sure of horns. Now, you are given a legendary horn at the start of the event, and with the previous event, the... what, Fallen, whatever? Festival of the Lost, or something of that sort? Um, when he dismantled the legendary mask you got, you got parts to make the next mask you chose to... Get back in the lead. Legendary? If that makes sense? You, you need to know what I mean. But you could go to destroy the one you got and be like, okay, I'm just going to get this one. Because that's the one I want. And keep it. But not the same time, not the same way this time. I actually tested that out. I went and checked. Because, uh, you know, multiple characters, they I can just us. be like, oh, well, oh no, this character's now out of home. Whatever shall I do, right? No, I don't, I don't really care. But. It seems you actually, at least, uh, haven't seen in any. There's like, words, any words. Tower thanks words. everyone for their participation, but we have our. There's winner. various things you can get. Uh, like racing toolkits or horn kits. The racing toolkits, I thought was the same thing as a horn toolkit, which it is not, it seems. Raising toolkits apparently give you armor pieces. Why? 
I don't know. That's just how it is. But they give you legendary armor pieces. Eh, whatever. Not really important. Um, the horn toolkits apparently you have to buy in order to keep a different kind of horn. Which, you know, silver, you gotta do their specific currency thing in the game. If you really want to do it, be our guest. I'm not gonna stop you. That's it, folks. We've got but a winner. that means if you don't do it, you're just gonna be stuck with base corn. Everybody else has, which is, you know, cosmetic thing which you don't really need, so don't even worry about it. I don't know. It's a cool little event. I hope they add a permanent playlist in the game. Leave it there. Leave it. Leave it there. You know. Considering who it is, I kind of doubt that is going to happen. That could just be my cynicism. I could be wrong. You might just leave the playlist in. That's just been the one thing, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. There's been Destiny, Sparrow Racing League, Sparrow Rocket League. Uh, 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 League, something Sparrow Racing, uh, something another. Because Destiny is doing it now, ha! Huh? And that just about does it for me. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.